What's going on everybody and welcome back to Generation Zero. My name is Tenebris Infinite and today we are going to be finally taking on tanks. I talked about it last week and here is the video today. So we're going to approach this the same way that I approached my hunter, uh, how to kill hunters pro tips video. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just run around, kill some tanks, take them out and then I'll break it all down and go into finer detail about how you guys can kill tanks with ease. So first things first, I thought it would be a good idea to go over to this tank here and start showing you guys just a couple of the weak points on these guys before we start taking on more of them. Because the big difference between the tanks versus the hunters is that the tanks have a lot more weak points on them, a lot more vulnerable points that you can exploit and utilize to take them down a lot easier. So uh, right now I'm just getting rid of this guy's guns in order to start showing you guys some of those key components that you should be targeting. So the first weak spot I'm going to point out to you guys is the easiest one to miss. There is a yellow triangle box kind of warning symbol up on this guy. And um, that is a very key component to aim for. It does a lot of damage to the dude. And uh, so it's usually one of the first components that I will start targeting after I've finished taking out the weapons and stuff on the enemy. The next thing that you want to go for is the eyes and the face. So the face is just down here at the bottom. The thing is, is the face has a little bit of armor plating on it. But once you remove that armor plating, you can start doing direct damage. And you can tell the difference between direct damage and damaging armor by the type of spark that's created off the machine when you shoot them. So the blue spark means direct damage, and the yellow spark means you're hitting armor of some sort. Then we're just going to take out this eye here, doing a little bit more damage. And then after that, I aim for this little square box on the top of his head. So the next weak point I'm going to show you guys here are the cooling vents. And you can find the cooling vents on the lower part of the tank's inner body part there. And so uh, you'll notice that I'm shooting off kind of chunks of him. And uh, each one of those is doing a significant amount of further damage to the tank. And then after that, another weak point you can go for is just in behind the shin plating. So if you shoot off the shin plating, you're again able to do direct damage to the guy. Then as well, you can remove the armor up on the uh, front of the body there. And then even if you aim just a little bit tightly to the corner there, you can kind of catch out the gas canister. And uh, again, aiming for gas canisters is always one of the quickest ways to take down your enemies. So first off, we're going to be starting with the prototype tanks. And the prototype tanks are pretty easy to deal with. Uh, they generally uh, are kind of like the stupidest tanks out of all of them. And also their weapons come off incredibly easy. The only slightly threatening thing about these guys is that they love to throw out their melee attack, that concussive shockwave. And so that just means that you kind of have to really pay attention to your distance against the prototypes as they'll always be looking for an opportunity to hit you with some sort of a shockwave. The last thing to note about these guys is that you'll find their warning label on the right hand side as opposed to the left hand side in comparison to the Fenix tanks and the military tanks. And just to kind of show you guys here, uh, if you're going to go for the gas tank on the tank, 
Uh, never really try to approach the guy from behind, because he will immediately turn around and start shooting at you and start taking you out. So, what I prefer to do if I'm going to go for the gas tank on these guys is I will shoot off their weapons as usual, and then I'll start trying to kind of inch out their gas tank while they're turning around. So I'll show you guys that here. Lastly, with any variation of the tank, if you can manage to draw them into a setting where they're surrounded by trees or some sort of natural coverage for you, that's going to be the best situation you can get them into. So for the military tanks here, I'm not going to be talking strategy too much because you can utilize pretty much the exact same strategies that you use against the prototypes against the military class. Avoiding their melee attack, constantly strafing to avoid any sort of machine gun fire, and paying mind to any sort of rocket barrage as they launch off. So the main thing that I really want to talk about with the military class here is that the military class has the widest array of weapon loadouts that you'll find for the tanks in the game. You'll be able to find them with a setup of either a machine gun and a rocket launcher, a long-ranged uh, grenade launcher and a rocket launcher, or a rail gun and some sort of other attachment with it. Um, so due to this, due to the wide array of weapons that they'll be carrying, always pay mind to the weapons that they have uh, down beneath their little face there so that that way you can know what kind of dodging tactics to utilize and uh, what weapon to prioritize taking off first. I usually find that the fastest weapon is the best weapon to deal with first. And time for the big boys, the Fenix tanks. These thick dummies are <laughs> really not that threatening, actually. If anything, I find the prototype tanks to be more dangerous than the Fenix type tanks because the Fenix type tanks don't have a shockwave attack. Uh, and so because of this, you're able to get really close up to this guy and you could just kind of wander around him and he'll never be able to get a clear shot on you. Uh, you'll, you'll notice at certain points in times, I'm even able to just kind of sit there and wail on him, and, uh, he just has no idea what to do with this. Um, you do need to pay attention to his stomp attacks, so you can't get in incredibly close, because that stomp attack does hurt quite a bit. Um, but yeah, these guys are really easy to deal with. The only thing that's kind of irritating is that they constantly, constantly drop these ticks. So all you gotta do is just... Uh, kind of hip fire and aim for the uh, tick canister on its back, which is the big old barrel. Uh, because if you try to if you try to aim down sights, you'll likely lock onto something like their gun or their face or something like that. So hip firing is the best approach to take off those canisters on the backs of the tanks. And once you remove the weapons off the Fenix tank, he becomes absolutely useless. Uh, so he'll kind of wander up to you, but a lot of times he'll be quite fine with just standing there and farting away. So if you ever take off the weapons to the Fenix tank, you've pretty much got it beat at that point. And then you can just kind of sit there, shoot all of those weak points that I pointed out to you guys before, and uh, they'll go down nice and easy.
So, my last pro tip for the Fenix tanks is that if you ever can approach them from behind, always aim for their tech pod and try to get in as much damage on that tech pod as you can. Because getting that down first will make taking out the tank really easy for the rest of the fight. Again, you'll want to utilize your hip fire primarily when you're strafing around the tank in order to avoid locking onto certain things that you don't want to lock onto. I really do hope that in the future Generation Zero will have no sticky aim at all. I really do look forward to that update. But until that point, uh, right now hip firing is the best approach when running around and uh, taking out all of these different attachments on these tank guys. And as usual, now that I've removed all of his weapons, I can just kind of hammer away on him and take him down. So while I do that, I'm going to kind of close off the video here. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video talking about pro tips on killing tanks and stuff. Uh, if you guys did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing because I put out Generation Zero content every week. And uh, I think that I'm one of the most consistent YouTubers out there for it. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.